Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Um, I'm just pausing and having dinner right now because I was watching a recap of The Last of Us on YouTube. Uh, this one's done by New Rock Stars. But this is something that I've really loved these past two weeks because um, like years ago when The Walking Dead first came out, I missed that first initial run. I got caught up around maybe like season three or four whenever they were like going into the prison. I, I don't even think that's a spoiler because I don't remember why they were going in there, but whatever it was, I can like distinctly remember the show being just a beautiful character study of this big ensemble cast. You remember when people just died out of nowhere. It was just such a, a beautiful, beautiful show. It's like every single thing mattered in that show. And of course, um, down the line, the show became something completely different. Um, characters left and it just, it just was not the same at the very end. But those first few seasons, that first season in particular, I remember watching with a girlfriend who kind of put me on the show when it was on Netflix. And it was summer and it was hot outside. I was living in Virginia and I had the windows down and you can hear like the, uh, what are they, cicadas or like little frogs in the background just making noise. And it was just such a warm experience watching this type of show that just was like such a smart, like fun, exciting, scary, just show. And the first, uh, I watched the first episode of Last of Us last week and it was like, this feels like the way The Walking Dead felt when it first started. And watching the second episode, <clears throat> and I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it just, it recaptures that feeling that that this did. And I'm really, really happy that, it, it may sound weird, but I get really happy when I like something and a huge mass of the population likes the same thing, it kind of makes me feel like, okay, this is something that we can talk about now. Like with friends just, you know, who may watch different things than I do, with people just on the street, there's that kind of connection. And it's like this gives me that connection and it's about something that feels good for me too because <clears throat> You know, there's movies that come out like, let's say, Avatar was a Avatar Two was a really good movie. A lot of people were talking about that, but it didn't really bring me back into like the nostalgia bit of um, something that I remember watching years and years ago. But this one ties so closely to it. Great storytelling. Uh, personally, I have never played The Last of Us game, but I've been kind of hearing rumors and little spoilers here and there, so it's not really ruining the experience. I kind of know what happens down the line, unfortunately, but just watching this story unfold on TV in a beautiful manner, <clears throat> it just, it feels so good. And I remember like the first episodes of uh, The Walking Dead, they probably did not have a huge budget, but they felt, they felt really, really big. Like they felt like um, there is a whole kind of I don't even know how to describe it. You could feel the world that they were living in, even though, you know, the budget wasn't so high. The budget got bigger and bigger as the show grew on, but I felt like those, like, personal stories, they were great. And this is doing a great job of, like, making the world feel real, having personal stories, but not making it, because they have got to have a huge, huge budget, but not making it feel like a big blockbuster, but feeling it really, it just grounded. It's really, really a grounded show. And this just may be me being a huge fan of this, saying like, you should watch this show too. But <clears throat> I just have to say, it fills me with warmth just to watch this show and to understand that this was like one of the highest premiere, I think the highest premiere ever, either on HBO or HBO Max, if there's a difference in that. but. Um, this particular show I like more than House of Dragons. House of Dragons is a, it's a good show. Um, the end of, what is it? Oh my God. Game of Thrones kind of just threw me off and threw so many people off. I'm just not really about that anymore. But this really, really does a great job. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk too much more about this. Um, 
by the way, with these one takes, it's literally, if somebody's texting me, it's, you're gonna hear it. If somebody calls me, you're gonna hear it. So um, this is all gonna be done on one take. And you know, if we don't reach that long, you know, this one was about four minutes before I started talking about this other stuff, that's how long it's gonna be. But guys, if you felt the same way that I did about The Last of Us, if you're a big fan of it, just let me know. If you don't like it, let me know too, because there is not much in this show that I am finding that I do not like. It is really, really a good show. <clears throat> but that is all today. Don't forget to put everything in the comment section below. I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.